Do you like my studio vibes? Today of the whole month challenge is actually the only day which I don't have an idea for. I don't know why it's not particularly difficult. Um, the thing for today is an item you care about, which it shouldn't be too hard to figure out anyway. Because I'm really bad at identifying things that I care about in general, I've been very careful with this list not to ask for anything too difficult. For example, when I ask for something you care about, it's not the thing you care about the most in your life. And the same thing is for everything else. It's like something that you can figure out, like a food from your hometown, not your favorite food in the whole world. I'm very bad at picking favorites. Um, it's really something that I struggle with. Am I filming centered? This is my problem, like if I'm trying to look at you, then I kind of like, oh, the struggle. I think this day is a particularly good day to film because in comparison to what I did on the other day, there is a difference that I can actually show you the whole process from the sketch to the finished drawing because for all the other ones, I already prepared the sketches in advance before October. So let's go for it then. I think I finally had an idea. Ta da! Wasn't sure what to do, but honestly, like, I found this. Basically, the reason why I want to draw this egg cup is because when I was back in my parents' house, I found on like old things to get rid of this silver egg cup, and I thought, wow, it's so precious, it's like so important, so official to have a pure silver egg cup and I love <laughs> this kind of egg anyway to eat it. I love the egg as a symbol and so I say to my mom, no don't throw it away, I'm gonna take it. I mean she wasn't going to throw it away but nobody was using it and then afterwards, after my mom cleaned it up, realized that it actually had my initials card on it. Now it's a bit silvery so you can't really see them, let me see if I find them. You can see the A's here, the C is a bit here. So apparently this egg cup was actually being made for me. We don't remember who gifted this to me, but obviously it was for some, I don't know, when I was born or christening or something like that. So I think it's important enough. Okay, after this is officially completely cursed, now I'm gonna just try something different. I think I like this. I already knew this wouldn't be good enough, so I'm treating this as a sketch, also because I folded it all by mistake, and I actually read in this, <laughs> redone this um, here on the iPad. So I'm probably just gonna trace this sketch and ink it again. The cool thing about the iPad is that you can kind of use it as a light table. I don't even, is it called light table? And it's good in desperate moments because sometimes maybe I have a sketch which I made but it's not the right size I want so I can take a photo of it and uh, zoom the size I really want to make it in and maybe you can trace it from there. Here I'm ready to ink the new hopefully last version of this drawing and in the last video I didn't really talk about the drawings much because I was still trying to figure out what I have to do for the video. It's quite hard for me to manage to think and act at the same time, but it's something that I want to get used to. So I guess I'm a bit afraid that the video will become like 15 hours long if I start talking about each piece, but uh, I'll try to at least give a little fact about it each time. Oh my God, I already fucked up.
one thing I didn't document enough in the last video is also the fact that every day I've been going through all the posts and watching what people have been making, which has been super fun. And I've been reposting some of the prompts that I like. I try not to post too many, but to keep it around 10 pieces because I feel like for my personal experience, when I see that some artists reblogs 45 pieces made by other people in a day, I'm unlikely to go through them and watch them. So I, f I thought that 10 is the most I would post in a day because I just don't want it to become useless. So nobody actually would see it. And these are some pieces from yesterday's that was like, um, you know, the zodiac sign. And there are so many good ones. I'm having so much fun. Look how cute. So many cute ones. Every day I have a blueberry muffin. Today I did not have a blueberry muffin. I should have had a blueberry muffin. Especially considering how incredibly superstitious I am. And today I have to ink color, finish, do one of the most complex illustrations I made until now. Complex because it has two figures. And also this one is a concept that I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work because I like to make one figure a normal and the other one is like a negative effect of the first one. And because it's just black and white, I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm gonna try. I hope you really enjoy this banging because honestly, if you wanna be part of my life, this is de definitely a very, very uh, strong presence in my daily routine. Since last year, we always had works going on around. First was our next door neighbors and they didn't finish yet, so it's been over a year. Then uh, there has been two houses down and now they're building a new building luckily i don't mind too much but yeah i guess when i record it's not the best thing could ever happen anyway let's start the day chilling as usual
to doing all of those. Today is day 11, day 10 was what do you wake up excited to do and for me I just realized that specifically when I'm traveling, not the day I have to travel, that's a whole different type of excitement which is just anxiety, but when I'm actually already on holiday I love waking up early because I'm very excited to just walk around streets of places that I don't know, places that are kind of unfamiliar but not unfamiliar in a sense that you feel um, uncomfortable being there. You can appreciate a whole different routine that people have. But for them is always is possibly always been standard and for you it's not at all. So it makes you also put in perspective how you live on a daily basis. And I think for me, my life was really important to get out of my hometown and home country to learn what I like from where I'm born, but also what I don't like and what I want to improve and what I want in a different way. And obviously seeing somebody who does it already gives you a lot of inspiration about life. So uh, I decided to draw that. And the images that came out in my head while drawing that were when I used to wake up when I was in Japan the second time, living in Koenji with Andreas and my friends. I love waking up and while everybody was getting dressed, I would go take a walk and um, buy some breakfast for Andreas because he's slow. This way he could have his routine and I can have my morning out anyway. And the second image I thought about was with the same friends but in Taiwan because every morning we would go out for brunch and every cafe was so nice. <laughs> Why is everything so cozy in there? Yeah, that's it. With day 11 we have a drink of choice which I already have an idea for and it's time to start. I didn't ask what your name was. Where did you get the letter? Print. Do you like it? I wanted to share with you what I've been working on yesterday evening. I got these frames from back to in my parents' house as well because my mom basically saved anything made out of non cheapy materials. This one is silver, so I've been taking these three tiny frames, they were probably some. Uh, little gift we call bomboniera, which is the gift you get when somebody like get married or get a degree or, or baptized. And I had some mini art prints 
that I didn't know what to do with and look how perfect. So perfect. This will swing momentum back to us and the governor into his re-election. What about Edmund Tolson? What precautions have you taken to ensure your patients and staff safety when he arrives? Where are you going to chain him up? All right, come on. Well, we don't chain anyone up. He's a human being. But as for the uh, logistical problems of housing Mr. Tolson, For the first time in five months, it looks like today could actually rain. Look, I'm wearing long sleeves. Long time no see. Today I have to draw an item I wish I had. And I, for this, obviously I have a huge list, but I decided to go for a kotatsu, a Japanese kotatsu. Many of you would know what it is, but just in case, I'm gonna tell you the people that don't know what it is. This is an item that now that you will know, you will want as well. It's like a square coffee table like table. It's surrounded by a quilt like tablecloth, which is actually a quilt, so it's a quilt like quilt. And under it, you have a heater. So you basically sit on the floor, you slide your legs under it, and you get heated while you sit, watch TV or eat or... I don't have to tell you what to do when you're sitting down. Honestly, it's such a cute thing, it's such a useful thing and I want one. So let's go draw it. I just realized that the week finished yesterday so this video is ended I'm pretty sure it will be pretty endless I need to figure out if I'm gonna do like a long one or just uh, two separate ones now I'm getting ready to go to ceramics class it's not class anymore I guess and today I'm gonna do some figurines that you saw in the first video probably it's the little crow with a little skull maybe I'll make some of them to put them on sale but yeah that's for the next video so thank you for watching if you made it all the way through here and bye